Alright, welcome. This is the AP Physics Workbook Solutions. Here we have unit 3.B, which is on direction of acceleration and velocity. And this is in the unit for circular motion and gravity. Okay, here's the scenario. Alright, so um, a car is traveling along a long road. Air resistance can be ignored. Okay, uh, for the following situation, uh, you are going to determine if the car is speeding up, slowing down, or staying at a constant speed, turning clockwise, counterclockwise, or not turning at all. Okay, okay. so here's the first one. Uh, here's the car, here's the velocity, and here's the acceleration. How is the car, um, is the car speeding up, slowing down, or has a constant speed? All right, so let's see. You want to ask yourself, is anything here affecting the velocity? Because again, when they're talking about the speed, uh, think about the, it's a direction of velocity, okay? So is anything affecting this constant speed here, all right? Is anything affecting the V here? No, it wouldn't, okay? So you would say here that the it has a constant speed, okay? Because nothing is affecting the uh the velocity here, okay? Um, if you want to see it here, let me draw the line. So, okay. Notice the acceleration and velocity are perpendicular, okay? All right, so is it turning clockwise, counterclockwise, or not turning at all? So, again, imagine this as the... Um, the velocity is the tangential velocity, so this is the end of it. Here's the acceleration. The acceleration is pointing towards the center of the circle. Now let me just draw the circle. So, right? Do you see that? <laughs> That's a horrible circle, but this is how the circle is supposed to be. All right. And look at the velocity. Good? Okay. You could see it is going towards what direction? So just do some vector analysis by looking at the arrows. You can see it is going in what direction? Here's the velocity. Here would be the next one. Here would be the next one. Okay? And it looks like it is going what? It is going, based on that, it is going counter clockwise okay again it comes from drawing the center of the circle okay and um right knowing the properties that the acceleration is always pointing inwards all right okay next one all right so here is the car speeding up or slowing down same thing let's take a look all right, okay, here is where the angle is. All right, here's the theta. Whoa, the theta here is in between 90 and zero degrees, right? Or zero theta, theta is less than uh, pi and a half, which is greater than zero, all right? What is happening here, okay? Notice that the acceleration and the velocity are almost in the same direction because of the theta, okay? So you would say here that it is speeding up, okay? Now, is it, go is it going clockwise or counterclockwise? Again, think about where the arrow is pointing. It's pointing inwards, so just draw the circle again. All right, and watch at the tangential lines, okay? And again, it is still going counterclockwise. Good? All right, let's do this one. Ooh, this is interesting. The velocity is pointing backwards of the car and the acceleration is perpendicular. Okay, all right, 90 degrees. Now, the fact that it is perpendicular, 
we would say it is going like this one, the first scenario, perpendicular, which is constant speed. So if this is also perpendicular, it is also going constant speed, all right? But if we draw the circle, right, this is where acceleration is, and it's always pointing towards the center. All right, boom. Do you see where the velocity is? It's pointing tangential. So the next one would be something like this. Then it would be something like this. Okay. So this one is going what? The do you see how this is going counterclockwise? The first one's going counterclockwise. The third one is going what? It's gonna go clockwise. Okay, what about this one, all right? Ooh, the theta here is not 90 degrees. So let's look at the theta value here. Okay, we would say theta here. It is uh, less, uh, greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Or if you want to think about this in terms of radians, theta is greater than pi over 2 but less than pi, okay? And again, do you see how the acceleration is um, is um, sort of like obtuse, okay? It is opposite of this one, okay? So if it's um, between here, it is speeding up, and this one, it would be slowing down, okay? And again, think about the tangential line so the acceleration is pointing inwards here's the circle that's my best circle All right here's the first velocity here's the second velocity here's the other velocity okay this one it is still going what it is still going counter clockwise all right Okay, good. There you go. A note that if you want to take a look about this one, okay, this is when if you want to take a note, the angle right here, let's just write some things that we um, saw. Notice that the angle between um, acceleration and velocity is acute. All right, that is when it speeds up. Uh, this one is the angle between acceleration and velocity is uh, perpendicular. I think that's how you spell it. It has a constant speed. Same thing here, the angle between, the angle between acceleration and velocity is perpendicular constant speed last one just your realization should be the angle between the acceleration and velocity is um, obtuse right which is greater than 90 less than 180 up to you would say it is slowing down okay all right good that's the workbook here I grab um, I grab a traditional textbook to get you some um, information okay so here is the notes for it if you would like to see watch the car is um, Speeding up along a circular motion, here's the velocity, here's the acceleration. If you do, if you do the, um, if you do the acceleration, the normal, right here, it says that the compound of the acceleration is perpendicular to velocity. Do you see how it should be here, but it's closer, right? And this is the compound of the acceleration parallel to velocity. It changes the car's speed, all right? So here is theta. Right? And the theta here is acute, right? But that's its explanation, okay? Right? 
next one here the compound here is when the car is slowing down along a circular path the component of acceleration is perpendicular to velocity right there okay and this is the component of the acceleration which is parallel to its velocity this is changing the car's speed okay now notice that here the acceleration is to the left all right so again this is when the car is slowing down right this is slowing down again this is when the angle is obtuse okay because here the acceleration is um obtuse right it's going um it's not um going forward right acute it's going back right obtuse okay here it is perpendicular so it is distributed evenly the acceleration is exactly perpendicular to the velocity okay it is um, per, um it is so there's uh, there's nothing helping or hurting uh this okay this is why this is constant speed okay if this doesn't make sense let me just bring it back to um this scenario in a horizontal surface right okay Here's our horizontal surface, right? Versus this and this, right? If we had a box here, let me just draw a box here, right? Okay. And let me draw a box here. Okay. So notice here, perpendicular, all right? Okay. okay. All right. Here's the acceleration. All right. So notice here that the acceleration doesn't really do anything. So you're just going to push it at a constant. All right. But here, notice how um, here there is the original uh, acceleration of y, which is just g. Here, notice that there is a uh, Originally, there's the y acceleration in the y, which is g. But look at its component form, right? There is the um, g cosine, no, sine theta that's pointing down. And there is this part, which is g cosine theta. Does that make sense? Opposite adjacent. Here's theta. Here's theta. Opposite would be sine. Oh, yeah, this is wrong. This is g sine theta. And this is g cosine theta. Yeah. All right. So notice how there's a g sine theta impacting this, right? Okay. Same thing here, right? There is the ay. And again, there is a. There's the component, uh, there's, this is where a y is, okay? So again, there is going to be a, um, a uh, g uh, cosine theta and a g sine theta, okay? That it's affecting it, okay? Notice how the angle will affect the, um, if something is helping or going against. It's the same idea here, okay? If the angle here is acute, it helps the velocity. The acceleration helps the velocity. Okay, um, so that's why it speeds up. Here, it going, it go, it's the acceleration is going against the velocity. That's why it's slowing down. Here, it's perpendicular, so it doesn't help or hurt. Okay, so that, so there, I gave you two different explanations. You can accept whichever one makes sense to you. Okay, but there you go. Those are all your solutions, including the notes.